Hello, and welcome to Wine Antics. Uh, I'm your host. Uh, I'm alone today because Stubb, my normal co-host, is out at the Beer Marketing Tourism Conference. I'm Jen. I am Wine Antics. I'm a certified wine lover and uh, a live streamer, as you can tell. Uh, I'm here. Um, I have two very exciting guests behind the wings. We're going to get to Mr. Mario Armstrong first, but then we also have Berlin Crystal Kelly. Um, and I'm very excited to share their story and how they've come together and how they're, and I want to make it about me. Maybe it's a little selfish, but they are a perfect duo in my two passions. And that is live streaming and wine. Tonight, though, I'm drinking, of, of course, uh, because I know Mr. Mario Armstrong is from Baltimore. Uh, I have a Maryland wine, and you guys know that I'm a big fan of Maryland. So this is from Port of Lettertown Winery, and it's Old Line Red. If you don't know, Maryland is the Old Line State. Um, so without any further ado, I'd love to welcome, or no, I have a video. I have a hosting reel of Mr. Mario Armstrong, so you're going to get a chance to know him a little better before he comes on camera. Let's check that out. So here's the bottom line. People are struggling more than ever. Bills, work, school, relationships, family, obligations. It's your life and it can be crazy sometimes. And with all that going on, it's really, really hard to pursue your passion or even find your true purpose. That's why I'm launching the Never Settle Show. It's a talk show that uses deep interviews and segments to help uncover the right ideas, the right tools, and the right steps for you to take to better your life. It's a show that has your back. It's about never giving up and never settling. Because we're broadcasting live on the internet, we're creating all kinds of new ways for the audience to interact live with the show. Traditional talk shows are one way. They dictate the content to you from the top down. You don't get a say in shaping that show. We aren't doing that. We're the exact opposite. We want your participation to be real. Your beautiful face will be all on our Instagram wall right on the set. Really cool, right? And unlike typical talk shows who just have their guests come on and talk about their latest book, what they're gonna do this weekend, or their latest movie deal, big deal. Our guests are gonna talk about their struggles, their challenges, and their practical tips to success. Some of these tips are gonna be close to the vest. We're gonna get them to reveal that. You can't find that on any other show. We're gonna have a DJ, live entertainment, fun giveaways. What more do you want? I'm ready. Are you? Let's go. So Mario, welcome to Wine Antics Live. Well, thank you so much for having me. This is um, really an exciting moment. Um, we're like six days away. I can't believe I'm saying that, like six days away. Six days away from launching this uh, this really kind of new, uh, we hope it's like super innovative, super different, kind of revolutionary in, in terms of taking um, all of the experience, years of experience being on traditional television, doing stuff on the Today Show and CNN, and I still do a lot of that stuff, so I still love traditional TV, but you know, what's really hot and what's really exciting is the ability to allow people to come into a conversation that's more organic, that can happen in real time, that's spont spontaneous, that you can't fully control. And so I'm really looking forward to taking all of the production value and the sensibilities of really amping up like a really high end production. So it looks magnificent. It has an in studio audience. It has um, a bar on set, which we will talk about. Obviously, we have a, a house band that's a female led band, which I'm super excited about because no talk show for whatever reason has never had a female led band um, that I can recall of. And we have social media wall on set. So we're going to be able to invite you to interact live within the show through Instagram, Periscope, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. So it's going to be a super exciting time of bringing, you know, uh, um, traditional production values of what you'd expect for real, really good looking TV, but doing it in a whole new way where we're breaking all the rules of what you would normally expect to see on a talk show. We've been doing everything the exact opposite um, on purpose to, to really push to really push what we believe is something that's going to be um, 
unique and different. And like, we've been even doing that with our crowdsourcing meetings where we've been asking people to help us produce the show and become co-producers. Like that normally doesn't even happen in, in television. So we're, we're really looking at every single layer about this show. Um, obviously we're looking at the content of the show, which is all about pursuing your passions, um, making your life better, trying to figure out how you can um, get away from some pain that maybe you're dealing with in your life or how you can accomplish bigger goals that you would like to accomplish or maybe how you can actually turn your passion into a profit generating business so that you can do what you love to do and monetize that. That's what this show is going to be all about. It's inspiring, uplifting, aspirational, but we're going to be really rooted in positive intent and really giving you substance, um, real actionable takeaways for you to move forward in your life. And the fact that we're going to open up our conversation so that you can in, it, be a part of it and interact live and take comments from Facebook and Twitter and put that up on the screen is just um, it's super exciting. Really, it's like this big experiment. We all are going to be involved in doing this together to see how it turns out. I can't tell that you're passionate about this at all. <laughs> like, just give him like four words and he's gone. He runs with it. Um, you know, I, I listened to you on Ross Brand and Ross Brand did an amazing job on, on the interview last Tuesday with you. And you shared such, between that and your last co-producer meeting that was on the Entrepreneur Facebook page, yeah. you share so much information. Um, but I want to get to know you, like, what what does never what does a never settle show or the 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 uh, you know the growing hashtag never settle um, we never settle mean to you? Yeah, it means a mindset. It means um, it means that I don't want to be I don't want to live in regret. It means that I, I also I also I don't want to settle. So how do I not settle? Is really how I look at it. How do we help people? to see, be exposed to new things, new perspectives, new ideas, to getting support from an active community that wants you to feel like you're a member of a family. So if you're not getting that support at home, or if someone doesn't understand what you're going through or what you're trying to achieve, that we now have a place where you can feel comfortable, where you can feel that you can be transparent and that where we're going to hold each other accountable to do great things. And I just think that never settle mentality to me really just speaks to people that uh, are looking for a new way, are looking for a new direction, are looking for, um, you know, a, a, there's a lot of information uh, that's being put out today. And most of it is negative. And it's part of it is because of how we're wired as human beings to pay attention to things that are negative more so than to pay attention to things that are positive, which is why we see what we see on the news a lot. Because, uh, you know, like when we, when in traditional TV, when I was in the local news doing stuff like tech stuff that I would do on air, mm -hmm. I would always hear the editor saying, you know, if it bleeds, it leads. And so that's why they talk about crime and, and, and murders and, and all these, because they think that most people have a curiosity around negative stuff stuff than they do positive stuff. So we're going against the grain and we're going a different current. So if you're of the positive mindset, typically you can only really find that type of content uh, on, on the web. Uh, whether you're watching TED videos or you're looking at something like Wine Antics or you're looking at a, a Periscope feed from a particular person that you like, but to have it really kind of blown up to a TV level, hasn't really been something that we've really seen. So we hope that we're hitting at a good time where people are looking for something that's exciting, something that's fun, something that's um, inspiring with real information. And so educational settle, and relevant. Educational, relevant. Yes. So never settle just means like, it just, at the end of the day, it, it's, it's about, you know, it's about not giving up. And um, it's about feeling like the weight of the world is against you um, it's about trying to help remove some of that pain. Many of us are juggling so much in our lives, whether we're parents, juggling our kids, maybe some of us are taking care of our elderly parents. Um, and there's just so much, you never know what another human being is going through, but I can guarantee you every single human being is going through something. And whether or not we're very good at concealing that as humans, but we're all going through something. And, and the Never Settle show is to help them be exposed to get to get access to information that really gets people to break out of their comfort zones and to see new, to see new opportunities for themselves that they can actually do.
and it totally resi- resonated with me from watching your scopes where you're so raw, raw and honest about everything, about where you and your your CEO, boss, lady, wife, Nicole, <laughs> right. were a couple yeah. years ago. Yeah. That totally resonates with me mm-hmm. even personally because I am living my never settle story right yep. now as Good. as we're going along i left i was in the military many people don't know that i'm a veteran and i left a very cushy government job to step out That's and go back to school um now i had money from the government to go back to school but i didn't have a plan for a job after that right. and it's led me here and it is freaking scary <laughs> every day to be on your own trying to leave that 9 to 5 and making it making your own path. And I love that the show brings together that that mentality of the internet that they you want to learn. There is yeah. YouTube for learning. There's TED Talks for learning that people do experience that um and that you're bringing out you bigger companies in there. So it gets it gets it gets broader and TV becomes smarter. Uh, that was a tough process to go through because we spent quite a bit of money on our pilot, shoot $18,000 to create this pilot. And we had to believe in it. And that's a lot of money to put into something to believe in it uh, when it costs that much. But we needed to shoot something of that high end of a quality so that people could really see like we're serious about this. And everyone that looked at the demo reel was like, oh my God, this is great. But, um, you know, for the executives, they didn't see like, how are we going to do this live? Um, do you know that this takes millions of dollars to do? Like you're, you're, you're like uh, the small leagues when you, when you get bigger, like come see us. Come back. And these are people that actually know me from being on the Today Show. So they already know like I'm at the, the highest level that I could get at in terms of like TV from a technology contributor's perspective. And that still isn't like enough to just make things happen. So a lot of times I think a lot of people think that you know, they look at someone else, their neighbor or someone else that they uh, appears to be doing very well and they have everything going for them. And so that the next move that they make should be very easy. And I think what's going to happen is I'm so glad that I'm doing interviews and shows like this and people have been following and watching the journey for so long because they're going to be people that are going to turn on Facebook or get a notification or see something on their mobile. They're going to be like, who is this guy? Where do you pop up from? And it's going to be like, what are you talking about? I've been like working on this for 10 years. <laughs> No, I'm not some overnight. Who's this lucky guy that just, just came out of the woodworks and yeah, he's he gets everywhere? His own show, he gets his own show. How does like who's this lucky guy? It's like, what are you talking about? Like, we went bankrupt in 2008, 9, and 10. We had to rebuild the company from scratch. Like, we, we had to borrow money from family and friends to survive. And, you know, we had to put coins in the coin star machine to get gas money to get us to the next appointment. And- so, what do you think that this now means? For the live stream community, or what do you hope that this means for the live I stream? I hope this community? is huge. I, I mean, I really appreciate everything you just said there because I don't take this lightly. That we're kind of like we didn't intend to be this model to for people to look at or to um, become a thing that would uplift the industry, but we're willing to take that on. I mean, we're we're definitely excited about what we're about to to attempt to do, right. and we can become a light uh, that shines much more attention. On, on the fact that there are so many people in the live streaming industry that have expertise, that have um, opinions, that have great ideas, that have awesome perspectives and are building communities around their expertise or their niche. If we can help shine focus on that, that's going to be a huge win for everybody to lift all boats. The great African proverb that I use is like, you can run fast alone yeah. or you can go further together. And I feel like the show, if we do it right, we're all going to be able to go further together because we can all ride, we can all be a part of this ship. It's not Mario's thing. So this is our show. When I say our, I mean, it's all of us responsibility, I feel, to help yeah push this and get behind it and support it because I truly feel that it's going to, the karma from it and the intent from it is going to come back and help everybody else as well. And I think a lot of us see it that way. I think there's a lot of people out in the live stream community that are taking ownership and responsibility of that. And I'm excited to see that. Um, because this is Wine Antics, yes. I, w- I want to get to the some of the in-studio perks. And okay. I want to bring um, Berlin on, but first... I know you have another teaser reel behind the scenes. I want people to get a sense of what the Never Sh- Never Settle show is going to look and feel like. So I'd love to show that Never Settle little teaser reel and then bring Berlin on. Okay, that's cool. Is 
this was amazing. It is still trending huge on social right now. The favorite bromance of SNL and Late Night, Jimmy Fallon and JT, they brought it. Here's some of the clips, a great montage. Check it out for yourself. We're talking 20,000 people here. I'm hosting this thing, it's off the chain. Today is day number two and I'm with the Sharks. We have Robert, we have Barbara, we have Damon, all from Shark Tank. So what would be your piece of advice for people to never settle, no matter what it may be in their walks of life? You just gotta have a vision of what you want your life to look like, you know? I think that people don't understand how hard it is and you just gotta keep going. Let's, let's bring uh, Berlin, Crystal Kelly on here to talk about, with Mario, uh, to talk about a little bit of who she is and what she's bringing to the Never Settle Show with her Proud Pour wines. So I'd like to welcome you both on. Hello, hello, <laughs> hello, Berlin. Why don't you take a second hey. and uh, tell us a little bit about your wine and tell us a little bit about your Never Settle story so that we can get some great context to what you're bringing to the show. Yeah. My Never Settle story, I guess, um, well, I'll tell you about how I started Proud For. Um, I was working in finance, um, you know, climbing the Wall Street ladder and doing it pretty successfully. Um, and I realized once I got to the top, everyone above me wasn't kind of, that, that wasn't where I wanted to go. And, and I, I always knew that from the start. And, um, and so I had had a, a background in making beer and mead and wine and cider and all these really cool, different, unique products. And um, I wanted to do something more meaningful with that besides just creating a product. Like, is there some way that I can fix issues? Um, you know, and, and I would go home and I'd be making these things and watching TED Talks and be in total despair with, with the state of our planet. So I thought, is there some way that I can make one of these things and use that to help fix these environmental issues? So um, I, I looked around for a local environmental cause, found the Billion Oyster Project, learned that New York City had more oysters. Um, you know, I guess more and more oysters were harvested there from, than anywhere else in the world. And, um, and we've lost them all and we have an opportunity to bring them back. So um, I talked to the Billion Oyster Project. We figured out a way that I could make a wine and use the sales to restore 100 oysters per bottle. Um, and I needed some money. So I sold my home in Santa Monica. Um, I also sold another rental property. I had a background in real estate. And, um, and then I just did all of that and moved to Brooklyn and started this company to rebuild oyster reefs. And um, so far we've been, been able to restore um, three and a half million oysters and, um, and actually four and a half now we've keep growing. <laughs> I need to change the numbers. Um, and we just launched our second wine, uh, Pinot Noir to save bees. So that's yeah. And I, I love that you picked a, a lot of great wine regions that represent the varietals you picked. You got a great uh, California Sauvignon Blanc. And, yeah. and then a, a great Oregon Pinot Noir. And they each represent um, something about sustainability and giving yeah. a little bit of social responsibility, as I put it back, into each bottle of wine. Yeah, definitely. No, that was really important for us was not only is the, the, the sales of the wine going to do something good, but also, you know, how are we making the wine? Are we adding a whole bunch of sugar and tannin powder and acid powder and all this crazy stuff or or are we just taking the grapes and not all of them you know just the ones that we like and using using the native yeast that are already in the air pressing those grapes and just creating wine and then also making sure you know are we watering all day and night when it doesn't need to be doing that or is it just only when necessary and um you know really really putting the planet first because it, you know it doesn't really matter um what happens with our lives if we don't have a planet to live on it's it's so true. And you kind of hinted at how you uh, met with Mario. Um, yeah. and, and tell us what you know about what you're going to be doing on the Never Settle show. And that's and it's just a small part. And we're going to get Mario back on to tell the bigger VIP experience. But I want to hear specifically with, am I going to get some wine? <laughs> am I going to get some wine? <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you come to the show, you will definitely get some tastes of wine. So... Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be alongside. We'll be giving taste of our Sauvignon Blanc and our Pinot Noir, um, which are awesome. And uh, maybe I can 
get my business partner, bring me over some bottles I could show you. Um, awesome. And uh, yeah, so I'll be there, you know, whatever you need from me, I'll, I'll be there to help tell the story. Um, and but, and you, you, I know this is happening in New York and I know it's, it's, it's at the entrepreneur building, right? The cannery. Can we get a, we've got a picture of the set. I want to show that because nice. there's some, like, just start to picture yourself in yeah. that, in that set there. And Mario, do you want to tell us where some things are going to be laid out? Maybe where the bar is going to be, where the audience is going to be? Yeah, this is a this is a great shot because basically this is a a office space uh, for a tech startup, mm. um, by the way, which crowdfunded their product idea, um, and they actually exceeded their expectation over a thousand sixty nine percent. So I think they were asking for a hundred thousand, and they got like one point nine million dollars. It was amazing. It was like one of the most successful campaigns ever done on Kick on uh, Indiegogo. Uh, but this space, uh, so it's called Canary. That's the home of the tech company that's opened up there, that, that lobby area that you see for where the home of the show is going to be. So the main set will be kind of where you see the words Canary, except there's going to be some set structures that we're going to be moving in there. So you won't see those that word right there. But that's kind of like the main set. Over to the right, if you're looking at the image to the right of uh, the Y, that will be where the social media desk will be. And so there'll be a, ma a huge 75 inch screen right there. So all of your faces, all of your avatars, anything that you're doing online will be showing up right there next to the social media team. And then right next to the social media team on that same side, we also have a cartoon and illustrator. And she's basically, she's basically starting with a blank, with a blank canvas. And as ideas and perspectives and information is shared on the show, she starts drawing words into pictures. And so it's going to be pretty cool to, for us to kind of check in on her from time to time to see how her canvas is starting to kind of get built. At the end of the show, we should be able to send that out as an Instagram image or something like that. And that can give you a full sense in a graphical illustrated sense as to what happened in that entire episode. So it's going to be cool to see how that plays out. And then right next to her will be Berlin where the bar will be. And so the bar <laughs> is right there. She'll be mic'd up. She will have, uh, we'll be putting her on camera and I'm um, speaking from time to time. She'll be sharing with us uh, some different ideas about not only um, her wine, uh, which is awesome. This is completely yeah, I've empty. Got two oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just I got this to try this out, and it's gone. Like it was that good that it's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Um, but she, you know, each one, each bottle has its own story and its own purpose and its own thing. It's, there's a lot to learn when you start listening to Berlin's story about what actually motivated her, what actually got her so riled up and so upset about a particular thing that's happening in the environment or several things that's happening in the environment, but how she could use her love and passion for wine to really marry this together to create yeah. a social good business that's really having an impact on a significant thing that we need in our society. So uh, when we found out more about her story, this was a no brainer sure. because we were at the point of giving up on this bartender thing. You know, it's very important that people sometimes you, you got to put out into the universe what you want. Mm -hmm. People don't hesitate. Too many people hesitate putting out. I don't want to look like I'm promoting myself. I don't want to look like I'm asking of a favor. I don't want to be embarrassed if I don't get responses. Don't worry about it. You have to believe in yourself and put it out there. Berlin put out an email, a cold <laughs> email. She knew nothing of me. I ended up on some list that she ended up getting from a friend. So bless your friend, Berlin, um, for, for sending you that list, whatever that list is. I need to find out, by the way. Um, but then she sends this cold email and she automatically gets an auto reply because I'm like, it's hitting my public, my public account, not my private account. And it's got an auto reply like, yeah, unless this has anything to do with the talk show, I can't respond until after May 10th. And so I read it and it said something about wine. And then I read quickly up scanning it because I don't look into that account much. And it said something about, we want you to try a bottle. And then there was, and then it said something about uh, reefs or, or um, oysters and helping to give back. And I was like, wait, this got my attention. And then when I clicked <laughs> like the URL, I clicked proud poor. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Look at this website. I was like, this is amazing. Like, how is this happening a week before the show when we were about to give up on like having a bartender on the set? because liquor license wasn't working out. 
Um, we weren't getting the things that we really needed to make that bartender piece really work well. And what better to have is a real entrepreneur with a real passion, a real go-getter that has a true story of leaving their, their corporate, I don't want to say cushy, but probably was to some extent, I would imagine, <laughs> cushy um, environment and, and lifestyle to go and do something that makes her want to get up and fight every single day. And so I just think every single, our band is the same way. Um, so all of our senior producer has a never settled story. Like everybody has been coming at the right time. So my point to all of this is don't hesitate to put your thing out there because the more you speak it up and the more you push it out there, the more the universe listens. The universe won't listen to you if it doesn't take you seriously. You have to actually push this thing. It has to come from within and out that you really want this to happen. And then if it's not happening on your time frame, you have to do what we ended up doing. We just, I call it floating, where you just let patients just, just, just float. Like we just let it, we just let it go. And everyone else wanted to cut it. Let's just forget about it. Let's move on. I was like, let's just float. Let's just see what happens. And Let's what happens? Make this work. <laughs> Let's just so make this happened? work. Berlin gets this email, and next thing you know, we have the perfect person to be the wine partner. Not only is she on show, but like she's the wine partner. Like I would challenge every wine and viewer to go to proudpour.com right now. And when you open up the app or go to the website, it's up in the top right corner. Um, click on buy online and buy a bottle of the wine. I want to see your pictures on Wednesday because here's what I would love to do. I would love for you to have your bottle of wine with your cheesy face and you take a selfie and then you hashtag that never settle show. We can pull that up on the big screen monitors. We want to know that you're drinking the show's wine while you're watching the show. It's going to be an integrated experience. Yeah. Um, so we're getting towards the end of, uh, end of the time. And, and I want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you for your time, Mario. Thank you for your time, Berlin, because we're all wearing so many hats. And your story is just as unique and amazing as anybody else's. Um, I always like to go around the horn for any final thoughts. And uh, my, my final thoughts is I'm amazed, I'm humbled, and, and so happy to have you here and share you, your individual never settle stories um, and to watch this happen and unfold in front of me with my two passions of live streaming and wine all in one place um, to the guests, Berlin, please like tell us a little bit more, any final thoughts, anything you would like to share with us before heading out tonight? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, just one thing is, was I started this company because I felt in despair of, what can I do? What can I possibly do to make a difference in this world? Um, and I felt like, you know, I'm working all day and I'm trying to get more work done after I leave and, you know, all these environmental issues, I don't even know where to start. So um, this is why I started. Uh, if you care about the ocean, you can buy this wine. Uh, every bottle restores 100 oysters, which is between 3,000 gallons of water per day. Per day. Really incredible. Yeah, per day. Um, about 6 million gallons of water total over the lifetime. So huge impact. Um, this also helps prevent flooding from Hurricane Sandy. So even if you don't go swimming, um, it still affects you in a lot of other ways. And then this wine is our Pinot Noir, um, where every bottle plants 875 wildflowers. And that will help save bees, which gives us um, coffee and apples, which gives us cider and hops, which gives us beer. And um, blueberries, pumpkins, oranges, you know, all sorts of things. So really easy way to make a difference, proudpour.com. Um, and yeah, watch Never Settle on Wednesday. Super excited. And thank you so much, Wine Antics. This is amazing. Um, so yeah, I'll like, let Mario take it from here. It's important that, you know, people have been asking and looking and have been waiting for this. And it's important that you put this in your calendar, like schedule this in your phone right now. It's going to happen 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, every single Wednesday from April 5th to May 10th. So six weeks is our first season. And we need this to be a huge success so that we can start season two in September um, and really kind of fix any of the things that we want to do or make some new uh, improvements to the show for season two. But we need season one to be a huge success. And the only way that can be a huge success is if you guys actively watch, share, invite, bring people to this show that you normally maybe wouldn't ask to come and watch a show. 
Um, we really need your promotion. We really need your support. And we really need people to take action. And one of the things that you can do to show that immediately is use, uh, go to our thunderclap um, to really help tie your social uh, your social uh, media profiles to our um, to our uh, thunderclap promotion and as, as a way a campaign rather as a way of trying to really rally enough support for the show and you can go there by going to uh, nvrstl.tv if someone can type that in the chat nvrstl.tv slash thunderclap no slash thunder slash thunder nvrstl.tv slash thunder do other than that go to neversettle.tv that's the home of the website. If you're just hearing about this for the first time, you can watch the trailer. If you live in the New York City area or you may be visiting to the New York City area during our show times, we'd love to have you as a member of the studio audience. You can request tickets at the website at neversettle.tv. And the most important thing over at the website would be to join the mailing list so that you can get the emails of the behind the scenes, get the notifications, um, be able to contribute to any guests, topics, ideas, thoughts you may have to help us shape the show each and every week. The best thing to do there is, is neversettle.tv. And we will be broadcasting live on Facebook. So since everyone is already on Facebook, Entrepreneur Magazine is our major distributor, is our partner for distributing the show. Their Facebook page is facebook.com slash ENT magazine. And, and, and you still have tickets available. Uh, right, right. Uh, so that people not could for April 5th, but April 5th is yeah. sold out, which is awesome. But all the other shows, we still have room for people, but jump in quick because it's starting to move, which is great. I, I really hope to to come by because I'm I'm in Virginia. I'm not that far away. Oh, and so you're not that far away at all. We'd love to have you could visit. You could be on the bartender set right there with Berlin. It Go meet Berlin. Awesome. That would be yeah. awesome. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Mario. And I think you hit like every point and you and it and it's like you've done this in the past it's like you've hosted segments or done shows or something or won an emmy i don't i don't know um <laughs> you're you were an amazing guest thank you for your time today thank you again berlin behind the scenes i appreciate you both um we're gonna wrap up the show now uh we went a little bit long but with an amazing 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 guest like mario and with such a, a great discussion about wine social responsibility and how it's tying into live streaming how it's all coming together you, you have to take a little time thank you have an amazing night i'm out of wine so it means it's time to go cheers guys